To understand exactly how the bypass mail system works, we followed a pallet from Anchorage all the way to the AC store in Hooper Bay, where the Bell family lives. This pallet weighed 1,366 pounds and contained soft drinks with some juice and water. So the way that it works is a retailer like Alaska Commercial buys soda and other groceries from suppliers in Tacoma or Seattle, Washington. The freight travels on a container ship to Anchorage or Fairbanks. Then its goods are shrink-wrapped into pallets no smaller than 1,000 pounds, according to the orders from grocery stores in rural Alaskan villages. AC pays the Postal Service 33 cents or 40 cents per pound for shipping, depending on the distance it flies. In this case, the Postal Service collected $484.56 for the pallet we followed. Alaska Commercial, like other shippers that handle bypass mail, must divide its pallets among five airlines that qualify to fly it to a series of hubs. This pallet passed through Bethel, population 6,000. From there, the pallet is broken down so it can be loaded into a smaller Bush airplane, operated by one of nine carriers, which may also be carrying passengers. Era Aviation flew our pallet the remaining 153 miles from Bethel to Hooper Bay, where the items were delivered via pickup truck to the AC store. In this case, the Postal Service paid the airlines $3,167.77 to ship the pallet from Anchorage to Hooper Bay, taking a loss of over $2,600. Last year, the Postal Service lost about $77 million on this program, adding to the agency's already troubled finances. <laughs>